Hello, welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. Today is episode two of Thrifting the Runway, being inspired by the 90s designers living in the category of what we're calling retro revivals. February, we're focusing on this idea of thrifting the runway, being inspired by the designers of the 90s like Christian Lacroix, Vivian Westwood, John Paul Gaultier, John Galliano, just to name a few who really embraced historic stylings and just went back to the days gone by and embraced all the romance, the drama, all of that. And we are doing it by soaking up the inspiration and then thrifting that runway inspiration and letting it translate <laughs> into how we're dressing and at least how I'm dressing right now and it's just something I'm so inspired by. My brain has just been woken up to this whole new idea and I'm having so much fun with it. And before we hop into thrifting the runway, I wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Felix Gray, which I'm wearing right now. Felix Gray is an eyewear company. They are the blue light glasses that started it all. I wear glasses all the time and I love the option of the blue light lenses. From Felix Grey, I chose the Alexander Frames and the Havana Tortoise, which I just always love a tortoise shell. I think for me, that feels the most flattering and I always, I love a good brown mixed tone. This also really went with my 90s theme that I am embracing during the month of February. This reminds me a lot of just that very 90s shape that you saw a lot. So I felt like it really went along. I also really love it with the outfit today. Felix Grey really is built on the whole idea of just improving our relationship with technology. We're on technology all the time, which has a ton of blue light. And I know that I am on my phone often because of editing videos, of course, scrolling, all the different platforms, answering emails. And I love that Felix Grey blue light lenses filter 15 times more blue light, which often can be disruptive to your sleep, can affect your eyes. And for me, especially dry eyes is a big symptom. And I've had these for a few weeks, so I've been able to test them out. One, I just wanna say I love the style. I just think they're so much fun. And I would say I actually, I wear contacts a lot as well. And I've been noticing my contacts have been getting really dry and I'm having to just like change them out more often. And since I've been using these frames, I have actually seen a relief from that, which has been really nice. And <laughs> we're about always playing dress up. And so I just, I love that I can just throw them on and have a glasses moment. And then I can easily take them off and use them with technology, but also the fashion side of things. I love that all the styles of Felix Grey are really just very classic and they're so durable and they're so lightweight. Often I feel like glasses start to pinch and get really uncomfortable and I found that these are just honestly some of the most comfortable glasses that I have in my collection. And the blue light lenses are available in prescription and non-prescription. Right now I have the non-prescription just so that I can kind of uh, weave them in and out of my day whenever I want to. And since we're all on our phones or in front of our screens so often, I would suggest Felix Grey as a great option for blue light lenses. And you can try them out with a 30 day money back guarantee, which is really nice because I do think when you bring them home, you wanna try them out, make sure they work for you, you like the frame on your face, and you've got that 30 day money back guarantee. If you wanna try out Felix Grey and style up your day with Felix Grey, you can just click the link down below to shop any of the Felix Grey blue light lenses. And I really love my Alexander Havana tortoise. So if you wanna join the club, feel free, but there are so many fun styles as well. So just click the link down below to shop any of the frames. Okay, episode two, Thrifting the Runway. I am so excited because we are off for another day of thrifting. I am wearing one of my thrift finds from last week. And today's look is very much inspired by the Christian Lacroix runway shows during the 90s. Holy cow, look at this inspiration right here. I love so much about this. There's a lot of menswear, color mixing, print mixing, 
big huge brooches, oh, the, oh, all the things that I'm loving right now, these cinched waists and cropped jackets, trousers, I would think that's one thing that's huge and that I do need to find more of are the trousers that are a little bit more cinched at the waist and then balloon out and kind of have that great trouser feel. You know what I'm saying when I say trouser? Yeah. Anyways, so I feel like I need to find more of those and that is on my thrift list, but I will say they're a little tougher to find, so they might have to be an online shopping situation as well. So I'm going to be heading into another thrift store with all this inspiration in mind. I'll be sharing what I'm finding and then, of course, uh, inspiration from the pieces that I'm finding as I shop. And so I think we should just head to the thrift store. Here we go. Second time around, taking the inspiration of all the 90s retro revival feels that I've been soaking up lately. This is so much fun to just be on this journey with you this whole month. We're just I don't know, I'm feeling all this magic from this inspiration and it's making thrifting even more fun and exciting. And I really love that I'm getting to do it over the course of a month and it's not just in one trip to the thrift store because as you all know, if you're a thrifter, you never know what you're gonna find. And it really is a process of collecting and curating you know, your collection that you have in your closet and in your home. And so this is so much fun to just be building on the idea of this 90s retro revivals and thrifting through the course of the month. I'm really open to any kind of find today that goes along with that inspiration. I definitely found a lot of great things on our last trip. And so I'm just, I think I'm gonna go to one store and then we'll see. I might need to hit up another store today. We'll see, I'm excited, you never know. It's a, it's an adventure. And I am wearing my fun little green cap that I picked up on my last trip around. And like I had mentioned as well, that kind of menswear button down, a layer over top, more of a balloon shaped pant, boots cinching it in, just taking all of that inspiration. Probably more Vivian Westwood than anyone, because I would say if I had to pick one, she's what's just been inspiring me for a while now. And so she's gone into my, like my brain without even me thinking about it. So enough talking in the car. I think we should go in. Let's find you. I already found something right away. Something that I really like is these loops right here because you can tie them and it makes more of a dramatic sleeve. So I really like that. I decided this time to start in the men's department because I do feel like there's items that I'd be looking for in men's, in particular vests. Look at a few that I found. And this other one is more shrunken, so. This is a for sure yes. I love the fit. I love these buttons. They're so great. More of a fitted. I love it. So I'm loving it eyes added to a lot of these looks and I found two. I really love this one. And I don't think I have a floral one, so I really like this. Another thing that's in a lot of the looks are the, um, especially with Vivian Westwood, is lots of, you know, corseting lace up and then in the shoes as well. And I found these. I drive my girlfriend crazy. I feel it with hate. She fills me with joy. Are really fun. Um, they're so perfect for summer too, but I really actually like the look of it with a sock right now. Here's the shoes so you can kind of see them without my foot in that. But so great. And Matisse too. Also, these are perfect historical styling shoes in their Bali. 
Valley. I, don't, I can't remember how to say that, but I'm gonna try them on. I'm actually a little tight, so I'll probably pass on these. Um, these are so cute. They feel like the perfect little 90s mule with a flower. Liz Claiborne. Okay, I found another cool kind of like, uh, not lace up, but that same idea. Got some really nice detailing on the wedge too, and all the gold, or I guess kind of brass details. Very fun. These are fun too because of the brocade and the cool block heel. That definitely feels very um, much in that historic vibe. I have so many shoes, I'm definitely gonna have to weave some out, but I'm just putting them all in the cart for now. Moved into pants, and these are a no label which makes me think they're like a little boutique or something like that but I kind of love them they're plaid and they're uh oh my gosh cargo style and I think cinching them in and then tucking them in they can be that really cool shape I'm looking for also these are cool these are uh vintage 80s uh like a pinstripe like a silky pinstripe black kind of fabulous I'm digging them Here's an amazing skirt. The tailoring makes it a lot more of a corset fit where it's gonna be super high waist. It goes all the way around the skirt, you can kind of see. And then it's the midi length that I love. Super long. It's more of a peachy, caramely color. I really like it. I haven't been finding much in blazers. I thought I would find a ton, but not any there and then I've been looking at shirts haven't really found any except one which I really do like so really great black and white plaid but what I like about it is it's more of a fitted style it's like old probably 90s New York and company so I think that's a good option okay I think I've gone through a lot of the sections and found what I'm gonna find and now I'm gonna try some things on This was the last one to find, and it's amazing. Look at this corseting right there, done with like little leather details, zips up, little cool details on the collar here, hugs. That's just so freaking cool. Yes! I'm loving this little button down. Same kind of thing. It's more of a fitted style. I love it. Buttons all the way to the top. So if I want, I can do like a brooch, bolo tie, a tie, you know, something up there. I'm really liking this one. Here's the skirt. I love this. Again, I love the extra high waist and all this weeding here. That really gives it that extra cool um, design. And then of course, I love a midi length. Here's those black pants. Sorry about like all my stuff ducked in. Um, they're okay. They're not my favorite. I don't know. I gotta think about them. Try it on the pants. I decided to kind of style them up to see if I like them. Put on the crazy fun shoes. On the vest I found earlier. It goes with my tie. I'm digging it. I think these are fun pants. Like. Not the best made, but just some fun ones to add into the mix. Turning on all the shoes now. These are really cool. I feel like I'm gonna fall over really <laughs> easily in them. I've already fallen a few times. So I think I'm gonna pass on these, but I love the orange lace-ups. These are so cute. I'm definitely getting them. I love the little floral detail. The mule, so perfect. These are cute. But, I don't know. They're just not making me excited, so I think I'm gonna pass. And I really love this one, mainly because the cool little colors in it. It's got green, white, blue, yellow. So I feel like that'll be fun to play with color-wise. And I think because I don't have any floral ties, I'm gonna get this one. I really like the tones of it. And I really like the tag. It says Mark California. I love that kind of stuff. Whoa. 
getting that amazing shirt. Ugh, I think that blazer with the detailing here is one of my favorites. This classic perfect vest, an amazing midi length skirt. Getting these two pair of shoes. And I'm gonna get the trench coat. It's just perfect. I like the lightweight style of this one. And I like the little buckles on the arms. I decided to pass on these pants. They're just cheap. And I feel like I won't end up wearing them because of that. As I was walking out, this amazing suit. It's a little big. I've got it over everything. It's so cool. I had to show you. I think I'm not going to get it just because it's a little big. I'd have to get it tailored. And then I think if this was um, like November and I found it, I would want to grab it. But I feel like I won't really get to wear this. It's going to get warm in California. Oh, but it's so great. I just had to show you. It's like the perfect Vivian Westwood suit. And then I just found this sweater. Just like cuts on the sides. A big opening. It kind of reminds me of like very deconstructed. The way that Vivian Westwood would have her pieces. I might get this just because I feel like this is also a great layer for the cooler spring evenings in California. But I even like how I can layer a lot with it. Like I, even right now, I'm kind of digging this whole combination. It's really fun. Yay! Well, that was successful. I am so excited. I feel like I found some more really key pieces. That black corseted jacket is insane. I cannot wait to style that up. And honestly, I really love all the pieces. I kind of got a few black and that black and white top. And then I got all these neutrals, which I really love. Um, oh, just some really great classic pieces that I'm excited to add to this collection we're building over February. So I'm feeling good. I don't feel like I need to go to another store. You can't go too crazy. So I feel really excited. And um, I also am very excited both both of those shoes. I love that one has like a lace-up detail to it. And then the other one almost feels like a Victorian. I mean, it's definitely, it's Liz Claiborne. So it's probably even, it might even be current. I don't know. 90s, 2000s, somewhere in there. But it feels like a little Victorian slipper you might see in some of the runway shows. And I, I love that it has that blush pink tone. And I love the ties that I got too. I'm just definitely having a moment with ties. I'm loving that idea. And even that sweater with the fringe and kind of the deconstruction of it, that's how I imagine wearing it, is with like multiple layers. And that's just like the piece on top. I think that's a lot of what these looks are all about is being creative with how you layer things up or even how you might style it in terms of even going back to our last thrift video, that skirt with the idea of like tucking it up and creating some draping to it. And I don't know, it's all about playing, right? So anyways, it's so much fun to thrift. It really does. It's like the whole time I'm thrifting, I'm thinking of like new ideas and I'm getting excited. I'm inspired by a new find. It's magical. All right, that's it for our second episode of Thrifting the Runway. I'm excited for episode three. That'll be out next week on Thursday, so stay tuned. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every Thursday. You can be following along this entire month on our journey that we're on. And then finally, always play dress up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.